Well, February is Be Good to Your Heart Month. Knowing what your risks are when it comes to cardiovascular health is important. Dr. Milady Murphy is here from the Shelton State Wellness Center to tell us more about it. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Murphy. My pleasure, Claire. Now, tell us how you know when you are heart healthy. Well, according to the National Cholesterol Education Program, they recommend a blood lipid profile for people 20 years and over. And that blood lipid profile tells individuals how their heart is faring. How do you get a blood lipid profile? Well, first of all, your physician will order it for okay. you. Uh, you should be fasting 12 hours or more is the best for the best results. And they take your blood and what is measured is your total cholesterol, your good cholesterol, your bad cholesterol, and triglycerides. Those indicators will tell you if you're at a high risk for heart disease or a low risk. I'll break it down even further. Even though the total number may sound good, you need to know what your ratios are. So that HDL, which is the good cholesterol, for women, it should be 50 or higher. Okay. For men, it should be 40 or higher. Okay. LDL, for both men and women, should be under 130 milligrams per deciliter, 130 or less. Okay. Triglycerides should be under 150. If your blood lipid profile shows those numbers above those, except for HDL, you want your HDL, the good cholesterol, to be higher. But if those other indicators are high, that indicates an increased risk for heart disease. Okay. When those indicators are in there, your physician may recommend strict lifestyle changes mm -hmm and or certain drugs like statin drugs. Those target the bad cholesterol and triglycerides to lower your risk factor to heart disease. And if they do recommend the, the drugs or to help, you know, maybe lower cholesterol or something like that, are you on it for the rest of your life or can you ever possibly get off it? That's an excellent question. And my students ask that all the time. For some people who have what is called hyperlipidemia or an inability to rid their body of cholesterol, their physician may have them on drugs the rest of their life. Okay. Some folks, if they're borderline, the, the physician may recommend the medication with lifestyle changes and may cut it back. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of 10, if the physician puts you on a statin medication, with lifestyle changes, you're on it the rest of your life. But the good news is, with those positive lifestyle changes, you may not be on as much okay. of the medication, thereby not experiencing those side effects of the medication. And the recommendation is to get your first blood um, lipid profile done at the age of 20? Yes, especially you know now with the, the way our lifestyles are, it, the National Cholesterol Education Program is recommending people who are 20 to get that baseline, to get that blood lipid profile, to establish those guidelines to help them make the right choices. Because 20 seems kind of a young age to me, but you were explaining that it's because you want something, to, a basis for it. Correct. You want to be able to have something to measure it Very and good. get it done later, correct? That's right. And, and just another quick point of interest, uh, if you've been, if there is heart disease in your family, uh, or, and, and in addition, if you have high blood pressure, the National Cholesterol Education Program recommends that you get your cholesterol checked annually. Okay, great information there, Dr. Murphy. My Thank pleasure. you for being with us. Always.